A Georgia man living with special needs was forced to move out of an assisted living facility after it abruptly closed. We learned the closure was related to staffing issues. Channel 2 investigative reporter Ashley Lincoln is live after learning how staffing problems like this one are impacting state programs. Ashley. Well, here at the state's Division of Developmental Disabilities, we're learning this division, like many divisions, are dealing with challenging staffing shortages. It's having an impact on their contracted partnerships. We found out one partnership had to abruptly close because they did not have enough staff to take care of one person. Oh, my God, what will be the next steps for my brother? Where will he stay? It was packed boxes and moving out for 60-year-old Eric Gore. Now he's displaced. His family says Gore, who lives with an intellectual disability, that a cologne. was forced to move out of a state-contracted assisted living facility last week. They're saying there's no facility. His sisters say they were given only two weeks' notice that the facility would be closing, citing staffing issues in this email. A voluntary or involuntary closing requires 30 days' notice. So, no, absolutely not enough notice given to the family. A report released this summer done by the Department of Justice found the state is struggling to keep up with staffing for services provided for people with disabilities. Right now, Gore is sitting in a metro area hospital, a protocol, while he awaits for the state to place him into another facility. But the family was notified this week that it will be their responsibility to relocate Gore. These homes or providers are specially trained to handle these individuals and support them and help them have a better quality of life. And I did send an email to the state for a comment. We're waiting to hear back. It is also worth noting that the state has made improvements in the last 10 years, improving the quality of assistance that they provide to individuals with disabilities. A lot of these staffing shortages are related to the pandemic. Live tonight in downtown, Ashley Lincoln, Channel 2 Action News.